Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. That is a Philippine cobra. This is what is commonly called uh, a banacon. And it's not dead. Wait, Tate. Don't kill it yet. Uh, Tate had thought he had killed it, but uh, he has not. Those aren't involuntary movements. That, that is a snake that is still alive. So, look, um, we can't coexist with an animal like this. Look, yeah, it's one of God's creatures and all that. However, uh, that snake, one bite, could kill you. And uh, I have a son walking around here. And uh, look, we we all walk around here, and um, this is the second one that uh, Taptai is uh, going to dispatch. He killed one about two weeks ago. Was the one you killed before Taptai? Was it the same size? The same size. Same size. Yeah. So they're probably the same. Uh, I don't know, brood, litter, whatever you would say. So, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that uh, it has to uh, be killed, but you just cannot coexist with cobras. They're, now, generally, look, I've, I've, uh, I've seen, I don't know, maybe a dozen since I've been here. Several like this and some uh, king cobras as well. Those are the main two that we see. This, what they, this is commonly referred to as a banacon, Tate. No? The banacon is a different color. Different color? So what, do you, what is uh, the Visaya name for this? Cobra. Well, you have a... So what's the Visaya name for the king cobra? No difference? No, no. It's just one cobra is the same as another cobra? Ah. Uh, I have... Uh, research these, all the cobras in the Philippines, and there's four or five different kinds. And my uh, uh, exp my uh, knowledge tells me that this one is a banacon, um, a Philippine cobra, uh, native to the Philippines, and I don't think anywhere else except the Philippines. Um, as I was saying, you know, I've seen many of them, but they're usually, especially this yellow one, this uh, subspecies of cobra, is always leaving. This is a very shy snake. Uh, but however, if you, uh, you know, if this one is on the other side of like something like that little piece of wood right there, all curled up, uh, just minding its own business, and you're walking along, and you happen to step on it, uh, accidentally, you just don't see it, you just step on it, well, it's going to defend itself. It's going to feel threatened and it's going to defend itself and it'll bite you. And unfortunately, it's just not like being bitten by a garter snake. It's a deadly strike. Uh, this snake, if it bites you, will kill you. And so, uh, it's going to have to be disposed of. And there's no... Uh, there's no place to take it. There's no sanctuary that would um, uh, take the snake and care for it. Uh, they're killed on sight everywhere in the Philippines, as far as I know. Now, most certainly not around here is there a place that you could take this snake. And uh, for it to be quote-unquote rescued. So, we really have two choices, kill it or turn it loose. And were I to turn it loose and it bit someone on this property and they died, then I would be responsible. Uh, probably, at least morally, if not legally as well. And say it re we released it and it, uh, and it killed a neighbor. Uh, 
again, probably not legally responsible, but uh, morally responsible. You just cannot leave uh, animals such as this to roam free, even though the Philippines is their uh, native habitat. It just can't be allowed to happen. So, and I'm not going to show uh, Top Dye dispatching it, but uh, I, I don't think it's been wounded uh, badly enough to where it, it's not going to survive in any case. Uh, so, uh, the merciful thing is to just finish it off. But uh, something to be aware of in the Philippines is that the cobras are. They're everywhere here. Um, they're around. You just generally don't see them. Unless they're the very large king cobras. When king, when king cobras get to eight or nine feet long, they, they become aggressive. Uh, eight or nine, eight, say eight feet and above, seven feet and above. And they're uh, decades old by that time <clears throat> they're at the top of the food chain and they know it and so everything is food and uh, there's Filipinos killed every year probably more accidentally by this snake than the king cobras uh, but the king cobras most definitely when they get large are a threat to people so I'm gonna end this one up uh, no use just letting this uh, snake suffer in the sun, uh, Tatai will finish killing it, and uh, we'll dispose of it. Thank you everyone, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.